Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Programele noastre oferă multe limbi. Vă puteți uita pe suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Vegan Because animal people's flesh is wrong to eat. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Hello master. Hello, master. Hello, master. Hello, master. How are you guys? We're good. We're good, master. master. How is master? Yeah, I'm good. I just got a black belt. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks to me all the way from Taiwan. Oh. No. Wow. Cool. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I used to be with my grandma a lot. Yes. Nice. She lived until 104. Wow. wow. I will probably live that long too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said properly. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Wonderful. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Hopefully. At that time, I don't know if I would like to read stories to you anymore. <laughs> we would like to hear stories. Yes. This is concerning the black bear, yeah. My grandma, she was always healthy, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. When wow. she was about my age, and she was still working. Wow. Wow. And yeah. I am the one who had to read stories to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven years old. She didn't have any glasses. Oh, oh yes. yes. I guess maybe she didn't study, uh, you know, the new Vietnamese language. She studied those old Vietnamese uh, uh, language, yeah, before. Yeah. Oh. Complicated letters, similar to Chinese or Japanese. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. We call it junior. Yes. Mm. It's old generation, you know. So I didn't ever ask. She was always healthy, you know, and a very, very cheerful person. Except these uh, winter pains and aches that she told me about. Oh. Oh. She never told anybody else. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess I was the only one around. Yeah, oh, yeah. I see. Because she lived in a so-called apartment next to my house, a house connected to my house. Oh. Oh. And I always went in there and ate with her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very convenient, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she cooked wonderfully. Uh, very simple, but she cooked with those earthen pots. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh. Yeah, small oh, wow. ones, those old fashioned stuff, and she cooked yeah. with fire. Oh. oh. So it smells, oh. Sounds nice. Completely different from the way we cook with the electric cooker right now. Yes, 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 yes I did. Yeah. yeah, she was always healthy, but she had a pain, you know, an egg in, in winter. I guess she did not have a, a thick mattress, yeah? Oh. Yeah, when I had a thick mattress before, I had less uh, pain and aches, but no, my I, I can deal with it. <laughs> I keep keep moving. <laughs> I lose everything. Oh. Uh, except I just gain a black belt. Then <laughs> <laughs> all the way from Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, don't be happy too soon. My doctor sent it. Oh. Uh, you put it around your waist to keep warm and. Oh right. Yeah, oh. it lessens the pain. Something like that. I didn't even have time to read his instructions. <laughs> oh. I guess that's what it is. Oh. Yeah. I just saw, put it on your waist, yeah. next yeah. to the skin. And that's all I did. I couldn't care less what. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I guess it's for some pain, you know. Never mind. Let's hope it helps. Any good news? No, huh? You want some good news? Yes, please. Yes, Master! <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You want some good news, yeah? Yes, yes master. Yeah. It's Tuesday. You can have pancakes. You want some? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's not Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> And you won't have any pancakes. Well, you can have if you you make it yourself. <laughs> I'm not there to make it for you. I'm sorry. But it's nice. It's raining, and it's Tuesday. You can have pancakes. <laughs> Can't have any. Don't have any. <laughs> Is it raining where you are? No, no, no not, not, right today. Yeah. not today. Not today. No, not today. Not today. Okay, it is the rainy season, right? It rains every now and then. It's supposed to be. Uh, never mind. So I think I was with my grandma uh, too much. That's why <laughs> I inherited her pain and aches in winter. Oh. But I think with a good mattress, it will be more comfortable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. remember when I had a good mattress before. I didn't have so much uh, pain because it was not too cold. You guys have any good mattresses? We are good, master. We are good, master. Thank you. You can order, you know. Okay, okay thank you, master. Okay, master. Thank you, master. Any pain and aches yet? No. No, no master. <laughs> We're good, thank you, master. Wow. <laughs> I envy you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's good. So it's not the black belt that you wow about, okay? Oh. <laughs> it is wow, not wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All together. Uh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Just some little pain and stuff. Okay, master, please take care. How? <laughs> <laughs> With the black belt. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most difficult part <laughs> in my life is taking care of myself. <laughs> yeah. I truly don't know how. I forgot medicine. Oh. I put it right in front of my nose. I still forgot. Oh. Yeah. I put it everywhere, a little bit here, a little bit there, so I don't forget. And then sometimes I don't know whether I took it already or not, because oh. I put it in too many places. Oh. Ah, never mind. Life is not always about this kind of discipline. Let it be. So it took busy. me six, seven months until I came around to ask for some treatment and the doctor went overboard he gave me so many things wow. i took only half of, of what i wanted to take oh. the rest i still kept there and the belt yeah, yeah. black mm. belt feels cool <laughs> 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 like you tough or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> because the word black belt is uh, associated with some tough guys yeah yeah yes, yes. taekwondo or karate Yeah. Black like belt is supposed to be good, so okay, I just okay. wear it for some psychological <laughs> effect. <laughs> it might not help much with the pain, but I don't really like to wear anything so tight like this. That's why I don't like to dress up and make up and all that anymore. Truly, I can retire now. I'm 70 already. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. 70, yeah. a little plus or not? I don't care. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, I think I have done making up, dressing up all my life already for everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think it's time to stop. And if they don't like it, they don't have to like it. <laughs> <laughs> if they like it, they like it. If they don't like it, then they don't like, don't like, like it. it. Why well, you know everything? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. you want any good news? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yes, yes. please. You have some good news, yeah? Can you tell me later, yeah? Yes, Master. I don't have much. Oh, man, the world is in big trouble. Even bird flu, they say it jumped on to humans now already. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Normally, they did not transmit to the humans. Oh. That's what they said for the first time. Now yes. it jumped on to humans already. Oh. And new cases in France, they call it IH flu variant. Mm. You know, right? And flu and having flu and COVID together, wow. as if uh, one is not bad enough. Yeah, wow. exactly. Yes. Gosh. Okay, and now they have a new COVID strain uh, just discovered. Oh. Oh. See that? Oh my goodness. Wow. And even the squirrel people, normally they are very, very placid, peaceful. Yes, yes. There's one guy who beat for 18 people in the United States. Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. Gray squirrel person. I don't know what he eats to make him crazy like that. Oh, wow. All this uh, garbage that 
They put outside, maybe it or yeah. this uh, herbicide. Mm. Mm. Yes, master. Mm. Pesticide. Mm. Yeah. There is one type of uh, herbicide or pesticide that uh, the government did not approve yet. The health organization did not approve yet, but they use it all over the world. Mm. Oh. I worry what that is. Oh. And so yeah. many other things, and another earthquake somewhere, and then. Volcano, another one, and many other things. Yeah. Some uh, protests broke out somewhere in Kazakhstan, and it became violent. More than 100 people died. Oh. My gosh, what happened to our world? I think it's incredible. It was almost like getting better, and now it seems like it's getting worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, God just gave us a little glimpse of hope. Yes, yes, yes. Like, we were happy to celebrate the UN and the world signing about the less meat and stuff like that. Mm. Yes, yes master. Also carbon footprint or whatever, and now they just continue as if nothing is serious. Just the same business as usual. Keep eating themselves to death, truly like that. Yes, master. Eating themselves to death. Yeah. Making themselves a graveyard of rotten corpses inside. That's right. Yes, master. It's like a coffin, you know? Yes. Yes, master. The yes, coffin master. contains you know, only one corpse. Yeah. Right, right. The body of humans contains so many, so many cops. It's mm. all rotten. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I don't have any good news for you. Sorry about that. Except my black bear made you laugh and it's good already. <laughs> 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 That's all you deserve, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Oh, God. Yeah. My God. We work so hard. So I thought I would read you a story. Unless you have any questions first. Well, there is one thing. I'd like to share some news seen recently just a few days ago pope francis criticized couples who choose pet people over babies again yeah saying it's selfish yeah what does master think about that i don't want to think anything at all about this guy anymore he just blah blah you know just now and then say something trendy fashionable what does he care about babies selfish or not Huh? Mm-hmm. For him, even killing babies in the worm or alive outside of the worm is okay with him. So what does he know about selfish or not selfish? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. These people, they just choose pet people instead of killing babies. Uh, which one is better anyway, huh? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. If they don't want babies, then they don't want. At least they take precautions. Anti-baby pills or something so they don't have to kill their baby. Mm. Yes. And they just uh, want to have pet person. It's okay with them. But these uh, other people, they just kill babies outright. And he didn't say much. Yes, yes master. master. Only one or two words. And then welcome all the babies' murderers into the Vatican. Right. And cold holds to them, or flirting eyes with them, winking, or blinking, whatever with them. Mm. Yes, Master. So it's, uh, it's all hypocrisy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, Master. It's just boring. A boring idiot mm. and evil. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yeah, if that's what you want to know, my opinion. So it's, it's all hypocrisy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes, Master. It's just boring. A boring idiot mm. and evil. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yeah, if that's what you want to know, my opinion. Yeah, because it does make sense what he says, though. That's the thing. Uh-huh. It seems like it's easier to take care of pet people instead of children. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just trendy stuff. Mm. Okay, Master. He says what's in trend. 
fashionable, just uh, to cover up all the things, just to, you know, kind of damage control again. Or oh, just blah, blah on whatever the devil want him to say. Right, just right. to keep the, the Vatican, the seat. Uh, yes. Understand. All right? Yes. Yes. If he continues to, to say all the things against God, against Jesus, and then the pro-abortion. Uh, but I thought his people are all for pro-choice. Yes. So what's wrong with people who choose bad persons? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Since he doesn't condemn any anybody who kills their babies in the womb or fetus, so what's wrong with people who choose a bad person? Yes. 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 That's true. Yeah. And they give them all love. All the animals, people, poor animals, people running outside there, so hungry. Skin and bones and poisons and beaten and abused. Oh my God. And now it is open. The mouth choosing fat. All the babies themselves is there. What does he know? What does he care? Yeah. I just want to fool people again so that people think, oh, he's not so bad after all. Right. Mm. Yes, yes not so Or confusing people, you know, letting people know what is he now. Mm. Yes. Yes. It was so evil before. So is he not evil now? Did he turn around? Yeah. Has he improved? Mm. Has he become better or converted into <laughs> Godism yeah. or not? Yeah. Mm. So right. let people just be distracted and forget all about the bad things that he did and said against God, against Jesus, against the church, against all kind of moral standards. In the society. Y esto es la historia del fracaso de Dios. This here, in this item, is the history of God's failure. Es un via crucis. It's the way of the cross. We are followers of Jesus Christ. And his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure the failure of the cross. In 2015, his remarks on birth control broke the internet. He told Catholics to be responsible parents and not breed like rabbits. The same year he drew intense public scrutiny for calling the Charlie Hebdo terror attacks a response to provocations against one's faith. He said if someone abuses my mother, then a punch awaits him. Sit. Six years on, he's once again in the headlines. This time for his remarks on pets. The Pope says pets shouldn't be allowed to replace kids. Speaking on parenthood during a catechism lesson at the Vatican, the Pope urged people to have more children and not be selfish by adopting dogs and cats. The Pope's remarks quickly went viral. People were quick to remind him about a verse from the Bible. Do not judge or you will be judged. Some slammed the Pope for calling others selfish, despite choosing to not have children himself. Some accused him of promoting sexism and fueling what they called the fetishization of uteruses. And others shared pictures of their pets claiming to be proud, selfish parents and expressing remorse at the Pope's remarks. There were also a fair number of responses that addressed the many issues plaguing the Catholic Church, like Catholic priests being accused of molesting children. Just another cheap, low-level trick. Right. Cannot fool just those idiots. People who have uh, intelligence, they can see through right away. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Anything else? Mm, no, that's that's clear. Thank you very much, Master. Yeah, he almost fooled you, huh? You think he makes sense, huh? Yeah. What sense? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what sense that that can kill a baby but cannot choose a pet person instead? That's true, Master. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. that's oh, true. That's it just... Well, I don't want to say that word, but the Americans, they would say BS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, just leave it, okay? <laughs> don't cut it. If I want, I'll cut it myself. They should know what you mean. Yeah. Just BS is good enough, yeah? yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. uh, that's just to make a light 
joke of it. Otherwise, he's evil anyway. Right. Yes, master. Anything else? Uh, yes, master. Um, CNN also criticizes the Pope about his comment concerning couples who choose pet people over kids are selfish. And CNN says that he is wrong. The Pope is wrong? Yes. Mm. Uh, yeah, of course he's wrong. He has nothing to know into anybody's choice, into what they want to do. Yes. If he supports the choice of abortion by his own actions and welcoming this murderous entity like Biden and Pelosi, then he has no right to open his mouth to say anything else. Yes, that's right. The people who choose pet person, they also have the right to do that. Yes. At least they don't kill the pet person. They don't kill the babies in their womb. Yes. 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 Maybe they can't afford children. They have only maybe a tiny apartment. That's all they can afford. So they have a tiny pet person. Yes. A bird people or a little dog people. So one dog person makes not much difference. But the babies, they need more than that. Yes. So if they cannot afford that, they cannot afford better than just having casual sex and then killing the baby. Yes, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah, so this uh, low IQ, low life of uh, Francis has no right to say anything. He has no authority. Nobody gives him any authority to say that. Just because he sits there by cheating with his gang to vote for him. Yes. yes. Doesn't mean he's a good and worthy servant of the people. Yes, I agree. I understand. A secret sect of cardinals has openly boasted in their pride and arrogance to plotting against the Catholic Church. The group wanted a drastic reform of the Church to make it much more modern and for Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio to head it. Cardinal Daniels, September 24, 2015. The group of San Gallen, that is in truth name, the Daftes. Maar eigenlijk zeiden wij van onszelf en van die groep de maffia. Wanneer paus Johannes Paulus II sterft in 2005, schuift de groep al de huidige paus naar voren als zijn opvolgers. In 2013 heeft deze groep eigenlijk wel haar streven bereikt, namelijk met de keuze van paus Franciscus. En in zekere zin kun je dus zeggen dat door deelname aan die groep de kardinaal toch wel een van degenen is geweest die de voortrekkers zijn geweest van de keuze van paus Franciscus. Canon Law No. 81 The Cardinal Electors shall abstain from any form of pact, agreement, promise, or other commitment of any kind which could oblige them to give or deny their vote to a person or persons. If this were in fact done, even under oath, I decree that such a commitment shall be null and void, and that no one shall be bound to observe it, and I hereby impose the penalty of excommunication, latte sententiae, automatic. I feel much freer now that I am certain the Pope is the Antichrist. Martin Luther yeah. You know, we call him the Holy Father. Holy Father, please forgive me. Holy Father. You'll hear that title used quite often. This man, Bergoglio, Francis the Talking Pope, his predecessors, John Paul II, Pope Benedict, John Paul I, Pope Paul, Pope John XXIII, Pope Pius. You can go all the way back, folks. I'm talking centuries. These men are replacement gods. And these men have taken upon themselves the title of Holy Father. He wears the titles of God. He yes. wears the title Holy Father, head of the church. He never died for the church, but he stole that title from Christ. Jesus said, And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Yet the popes took to themselves the name Holy Father, along with all claims of authority that might be assumed by such a title. C'è chi ritiene di poter avere un rapporto personale, diretto, immediato con Gesù Cristo al di fuori della comunione e della meditazione della Chiesa. Sono tentazioni pericolose, sono tentazioni dannose. But in the Bible, Jesus says, Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, and no man openeth. The Apostle Paul warned that 
if any man or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, let him be accursed. Jesus said of himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yet despite these biblical warnings, the popes repeatedly claimed they were equal to and above God. It's not uh, worthy to clean the feet of a taxi driver or a, a street stripper, I'm telling you. Yes, yes master. master. It's so filthy, dirty, stupid, low life. Yes. And, 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 and brutal. Because if you support brutality, that means you have the same mentality. Yes, that's right. Any more questions? Yes, Master. Pope Francis removed the number two Vatican official in the doctrine office who was behind the document barring blessings for LGBTQ couples. Attacking the Vatican has forbidden blessings to same-sex relationships. In the latest decree approved by the Pope Francis, the Vatican has said that priests cannot bless same-sex unions. The Roman Catholic Church has described such relationships as, quote, not ordered to the Creator's plan. The statement also says, and I'm quoting, God does not and cannot bless sin. The church does not have and cannot have the power to bless unions of persons of the same sex. Its second highest ranking official, Giacomo Morandi, worked on the documents explaining the Catholic Church's views on blessing gay unions. The Pope is now looking for a replacement to take over Archbishop Morandi's former role in this important Vatican dicastery. Sounds like it's good news, Master. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just a scapegoat. That's why he got to keep all the titles, you know. Our bishop personally granted by the Pope. He just finds the scapegoat. He himself should be kicked out forever from the Vatican and go disappear out of human sight. Yes, Master. Yes, yeah. Master. Because if he did not approve it, whoever so that number two most powerful there would not dare to have it public. Yeah. Nothing can be done without the P. Francis approval. That's right. Right. Just a scapegoat. Just a scapegoat. Ah, coward. Yeah. He has too much pressure from uh, this group. Yes. yes. And also probably others, uh, a silent pressure from the public. I understand. Yeah, of course, because this is really unjust. Yes, yes. it is. When he okay, or when he let the big uh, shot uh, politicians go into his private chamber even, yeah, or cold holds to them, like Biden and Pelosi, uh, who are murderers of the, the babies, innocent fetuses and, and babies in the womb, while condemning gay and lesbian marriage. What the heck is that? Understand. Yes. Yeah, of course people pressure him. Now he even wrote a letter to a nun in America who uh, managed gay uh, issues mm -hmm. yeah, for 50 years and praised her even. You see, I told you he just says trendy things. Yes, Master. Yes. And he just about to do anything. Or maybe just to say something, do something so that people are confused as to whether or not he's a devil or he's good. Understand. And confusing people, covering up as well as uh, damage control. Yes, Master. Ah, uh, so sickening. Talking about him makes me sick. Uh, it's better than nothing, of course. Yes. yes. But who cares about what he says? Now, I told you guys before, the gay people just get married. They don't need the church. They could even go to other churches. Yes. yes. Anything as long as they want to. They don't have to rely on the Catholic Church. That's right. Even if they have been brainwashed to believe in these Catholic priests, but the Church and Christian teachings, Jesus' teaching has nothing to do with these gang, okay? Yes, that's right. Nothing to do with Vatican or Pop or Pep or People, Peak or whatever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so their marriage has only to do with God. Yeah, they don't have to even go to any church or anything. Or they go to Buddhist temples. Yes. yes. Nobody demands you, nobody criticizes, it's nothing. Yes. Or go to a Muslim mosque. <laughs> yeah, they also worship God there. Yes. Okay? Yes. Or just stay home, yeah, invite your friends, family, and uh, praise to God. Yes, Master. Pray to God, praise God, and thank God to bless their marriage. That's enough. Uh, I despise all these people, okay? I'm disgusted.
by these types of people. He and his Vati gang entity, they are devils. That is very clear. Yes, Master. I cannot say enough about this. Because Biden and Pelosi, they have the power, and they use it to kill instead of to nourish people. Yes, that's right. right. Children, babies, they're innocent men. And Jesus says, let the children come to me, because theirs is the kingdom of God. Jesus said, children belong to God. Children have the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God belongs to the children even. Yes, Master. And how dare they, huh? How dare they kill the babies in the womb, rape the innocent toddlers and teenagers, etc., hmm? and call themselves holy priests? Oh, man. Many people sent a lot of roses to Pelosi, yes. begging her to change her mind about abortion. Mm-hmm. But she is still adamant to kill. <sighs> yes, I understand. To murder without conscience, without shame. Without remorse, believe it or not, huh? Yeah. She's adamant to keep it, to keep the law of abortion. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that she can kill more babies, so her gang of these uh, zealous demons can eat them to the pill. Oh. Yeah, she's one of them. Biden is one of them, I keep telling you. Yes. 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 Yeah. Maybe other people don't believe me, but you guys know it's so logical. Yes, we do. Imagine people use roses, use soft love like that. She's still hardened enough, hardened to the point that she chooses murder over caring and loving. Understand. And this is not talking about heavenly mercy that human to human only. How can a human have no mercy to another human and kill without mercy like this? Huh? Yes. Just because you can. Yes. 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 In order to kill the innocent has nothing to do with her even. Would he, would she, Pelosi and Biden have loved their mothers to shred them into pieces in their womb already? Of course not. Of course not. And now that they're alive, they're well, they're fed by taxpayers, they turn into murderers without remorse. Yes. Yes. These you can see that they are devils. Yes. There's no need to be a psychic to see it. Yes. Anyone who enjoys the murderous process in any way at all to the innocents, they are devils. Yes, yes. Master. yes master. They're worse than the worst criminals in the society. I don't know why the law doesn't just cut their hands and throw them in jail for many lifetimes. Hmm. Yeah, no worries. Hells will do it. And we'll throw them in fire forever. Wow. These people, they will not be leniently forgiven by heaven and by hell's law even. The hells have their law also. That's why they are there to punish the sinful. Understand. And these types are the greatest sinners of all in the universes. They will not get away with it. Wow. Never. They will never get out of hell again to harm others, to harm the innocent babies toddlers and all that. And even then, the Pope lets them have communion. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the holy uh, ritual of Christianity. So what is he to say? Nothing. He's a blood-dripping mouse, cannot say anything. That's right. Right. Even if he shuts up, it's not good enough. He should just disappear. He should get lost out of human sight so that he will never support any murderous, harmful things for humanity. Yes, yes, yes Master. Oh, I can never tell you enough about all this. Good that you told me. Thank you anyway. Yes, Master. You read all his history and all the things that he said and did, and then you know. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. He's one of those evil pops that the devil incarnates as whenever the human race has come to such a low standard. Oh. And this time, even their lowest of all. Wow. Their rampant killing and from humans, babies to animal people everywhere. Yes. You know, our world is like a killing field. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, It's not a world where children of God should live in. That's right. Mm. Yes. It's a killing field. There's no peace anywhere. I mean, there's some countries that make peace with each other. I'm so glad about that and thank God. 
but there's rampant killing everywhere, murdering everywhere. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, master. Murdering the innocent. And meanwhile, mm. they jail one guy or two girls who murder one kid or one man or one woman. Yes, yes. yes. true. Jail them for more than 100 years. Wow. Yeah. Or jail them for many lives. Yes. As if they are cats. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And had many lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, some give many life sentences. You know that. That's true. Yes. Yeah. How ridiculous. How ridiculous when they are allowed to kill babies. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. True. At random. Oh, gosh. Sex scenes are not uh, serious. But gay couples, no, cannot. Mm. See that? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, all these idiots. If this is not evil talk, then it's idiot talk. My God. Go wash your ears. Mm. Yes. 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 Oh, all this useless talk, my God. I don't want to talk about all this. The world is going down. I probably just let it. Let the dead bury the dead, just like what you said. Mm. Let the idiots deal with the idiots. We, oh, my God, we do what we can in different ways. Yes, yes. Yes. I can't bother about this type. Right. There are many other things he said that people don't even want to bother with it anymore. Any other questions? Mm, anyone have any? No, Master, not at the moment. Okay, good then. Good. That's why I often call the boys. They're always ready. <laughs> and uh, it suits me fine. <laughs> you know, we are in this uh, immediate enlightenment group. <laughs> this is my teaching, so I want everything immediate. I like that style. <laughs> I'm busy, man. Yes, master, we understand. And uh, when I want to talk, I talk. If I don't want, then maybe later I will lose it. That's right. Yes, yes master. master. For many decades, I always have to prepare and wait for people to be ready. Hmm. Away into Sunday or. Saturday or repeat in order to talk to them as if I want to see God mm-hmm. <laughs> himself. So nowadays, okay, let them just uh, listen later mm-hmm. on. Yes, Master. And whoever is easy, ready, I call them. I call that group. All right? Yes, Master. Yes, master. I like it easy. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I don't like it that when I read a story for you, I have to begin working again. Then it's not relaxing for me. Yes, Yes, Master. Yes, master. I have too much work to do, truly, truly mm. like that. Oh, this kind of not serious sickness, thank God. But I keep bearing it. I thought, okay, it will go away. <laughs> it did not. Oh. Oh. For more than half a year, so I just uh, moved. Mm. Oh. I don't oh. worry. It's fine. Let's hope it gets better, Master. Everything for Master. Uh, it's, it's probably karma also. That makes me forget. <laughs> Oh, That's yeah. very good already. The whole world's to come. Uh, just a little bit here and there. Thanks to the retreat and God's blessing. Yes. So from now on, if I have time, I just read your story, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. Of course you can ask questions, but I think the world has nothing much to offer. Mm-hmm. Especially now. Okay, Master. Yes, Master. It's nothing good for us to discuss or celebrate or be happy about. Mm, yes, it's not forbidden. You can always ask questions, even troubling questions. It's like, okay, too. But I guess it's just too boring. Mm, yeah. All these idiots sitting on the top, either evil or idiots, either devil or idiots. So just, just hopeless. Okay, ready for bedtime story? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Okay, this is from the book of uh, treasure of Jewish folklore again. This is number three book. Number one book I have not finished yet, but today I just pulled it out and it was number three, so I thought, why not? (laughs) Actually, it was difficult for me to choose. There's another story, very nice. I like this type of story. Simple, Mm. Mm. and I don't have to look too much. Even if I don't read in advance, I would understand while reading to you. (laughs) Anyway, these stories, I told you, I read them before, but I forgot altogether. I just pulled the pages so that I know that I read the story already. Ah, right. Mm. At least I know these selected ones. Yes, master. There are some stories I did not want to read to you. I don't feel they're very suitable. Mm. Yes, master. But maybe they are suitable. 
Who knows? When I'm short of stories, I will go back to them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> They're just like spare tires. <laughs> Uh, this story is called The Two Little Devils. I'm not talking about the devils. <laughs> <laughs> I just open it and it's like that. There's another story before that. Or maybe I'll read it also later. Now, once upon a time, there were two little devils who appeared inside a mezzanine that is reserved for the women in the church or in the synagogue. So they frightened all the women. They all run away. And then the high priest of that synagogue brought out the Torah, the Holy Torah, to read up there in this mezzanine in order to drive these uh, two little devils away. Mm -hmm. So they disappeared reluctantly because people were reading. The highest priest there was reading the Holy Torah. The Holy Torah, you know? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Uh, similar to the Bible in Christianity. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. So then uh, they had nothing else to do. They went to bother the two little boys of this highest priest. Thus, both of the boys became ill. Mm. Oh. Now, so these are high priests in that area had to invite Master Basantop. Basantov, he's very famous in uh, Jewish folklore and uh, spiritual stories. So the master, the venerated master, Basantov came. He came with a secretary or maybe an assistant. And then he requested that uh, they should let him and his secretary stay in an abandoned house. But they should bring the two boys to him. So he and the secretary stay in a wide, abandoned house. At that period of time, it was also the time of the um, weekly festival, weekly ritual or celebration. Mm -hmm. Before everyone went to bed, the two devils appeared in front of the door. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then they began to make fun of the venerated master Balsamtov. Oh, wow. oh, wow. The way he read the Holy Torah on the Sabbath day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the holy day, you know? Yes. Yes. yes, Master. Saturday. That day, all the Jews don't do anything except read the Torah or go to pray in the synagogue or doing things that are unholy praying or gathering together and discussing the Torah, or anything to do with spirituality. Yes. Oh, yes. yes, Master. With God, with holy practice, not doing anything worldly. So that day, normally, in the Sabbath day, you should not do anything at all except those related spiritual things or prayers. So uh, the venerated Master Basantov was reading the Torah, because especially for the Sabbath day. And these two devils appear at the front door and began to make fun of the way the Master Basintov was reading the Torah. So uh, Master Basintov asked his uh, secretary, who was sitting on another bed, he said, did you see them as well? So the secretary, of course, saw them, but he took the blanket and uh, put, covered himself on the head and said, please, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me in peace, in peace. The two little devils made fun of the venerated Master Basintov. When they finished, they went toward the two boys. Master Balsantov came out of the bed and angrily asked them, Hey, where do you think you are going? So one of the devils said, Is this your business here? What we're doing? Because they were very arrogant and very disrespectful and rude because they were not afraid of him at all. They thought they had big power, so they were not afraid of him. Yeah. And then they began to copy the way Master Basantov 
read the Torah again, you know, just to make fun of him. And then they laughed together, the two of them. That was too much for Master Basintop. So he just waved his hand one time. Both of the devils fell down. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Fell boom on the floor. <laughs> ah. That hurts. <laughs> and now they began to beg him for compassion, <laughs> uh. for mercy, uh, for benevolence, <laughs> for magnanimous, <laughs> to have a magnanimous uh, heart. Uh, please uh, forgive us and uh, let us go. The master said, but before everything, I want to let you see how I will heal these two boys. So one of the devils said, oh, how lucky they are that you even came here to uh, heal them because we have already been destroying the inside of their organs. Oh, and we have already prepared that tonight we would kill them. Oh. Yeah. They kind of uh, praise uh, Master Basim you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said, it is so lucky that you came, otherwise their organs have already begun to be ruined. And tonight we would have killed them, killed these two boys. So lucky that you are here, that they might live. So Master Basim asked them, how have you been able to go into the synagogue, such a holy place like that? How can you go in there? Because normally devils are not allowed to go in there. Yes. Yes. They could not. They just cannot. So the two devils answer him. Oh, uh, we could do that. We could go in there thanks to the man who uh, reads the Torah. Thanks to the man who leads the prayers. He is a great uh, playboy. Oh. Oh. A big time. Every time he read any of the holy books, mm -hmm. he was just thinking only of how to say it, to sing it, so that it becomes very, very attractive. Mm -hmm. oh. One moment. Or oh, nothing, just rain by me. <laughs> I told you, if we had pancakes, it would be good. But you don't have rain there. So. <laughs> and it's not your Tuesday there. It's not raining, so forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday pancakes is uh, in Europe. Do you have them in America and all that? Um, no, Master. No? So where does Tuesday pancakes come from? <laughs> Never heard of that one before. <laughs> uh, probably France. Uh, where was I when I heard about that? Tuesday pancakes, maybe in England. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> we don't have any anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't serve a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. <laughs> you eat whatever the kitchen gives, right? Tuesday or not? Yes. Yeah? Yes, <laughs> Do they cook well for you? Yes, yes very well. You happy? Yes. yes. Yeah. I was kind of worried maybe you're not used to the food, but it's okay, huh? You can try to cook something yourself if you don't like it. So um, so because of him, because of this uh, lead reader, we can go in there, yeah? Because um, he was always thinking about how to make it the most attractive so that all the women would like his up and down and melodious voice, so that he will have a chance to sin with them. Oh. But these women, they were also thinking of sinning with him as well. Oh. So from this energy, from this thought of physical sexual desire, both of us were born. No, it's true like that. It's not mm. just a story. Yeah. Mm. This story mentioned it, but it's a true thing. Yes, mm. Mm. That our energy will create something, finally, at the end, when the energy is strong enough wow. oh. to manifest into something physical. 
or almost physical, or even invisible or astral level type. Mm. Thus, uh, both of us were born from this kind of energy and uh, a sexual desire and thinking. So we are one male and one female. Mm. One male uh, devil and one female devil. All mm. oh, right. Yeah. We were born right inside that signal. Wow. Yeah, from that energy. Because every day or every so often he goes there and he sings with his voice mm -hmm. and tries with all his might to charm the woman. And the woman was also mesmerized by it. Mm. Wow. Thus, this lowly energy and sexual unholy desire inside the synagogue became more and more built up. And so both these devils, one man, one woman, were born right in the middle of the synagogue. That's why. Yes, yes, master. Yes, master. That's why they were there. It's not like they came in from outside. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They were born inside there through this energy. After that, after hearing the two devils confess thus, the venerated master Bashem Tov uh, went out to look for an abandoned well hmm? mm. and then excite them there, I mean, telling them to stay inside there, inside that abandoned well. Yeah. Mm. Far away from anywhere that any humans inhabited. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. The story ends. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You see, that's why all the Masters taught us that body, speech, and mind, thinking also, have to be pure. Yes. Have to be good. Therefore, not that everyone who volunteers or is assigned to do holy work inside any holy temple or synagogue or church or mosque is pure and holy. Mm, mm. That's true. Thus, they could damage the energy, the atmosphere of that holy place. Right. And infect other people. Yes. If the energy is strong enough, it manifests into these kind of devils like we have just read. If it's not strong enough to manifest into the physical presence, it could manifest into an astral presence and also disturb people, making people sick, making people's prayers not come true, distracting them or infiltrating their minds, and making the people not pray rightly or not sincere or having bad thoughts or negative thoughts or sexual desire right there. Even if it's not manifested into devils or astral devils, the bodies, the energy is still very bad for the people. That's why if you go to the ashram to meditate or listen to the master's talk, you should check your body, speech, and mind. Okay? Mm. Yes. Yes, master. I don't mean just you. I mean you, all of you out there. First, now you know why many priests they are no good like that. Yes. yes master. They uh, molesting children, raping children, or murdering children. Oh, yeah. It might be their own character. It might be also that they are influenced by the predecessor kind of energy. Okay? Oh. Bad energy. Yes, right. Or low desires. This kind of thought people cannot see, of course. Or some people can, because some people can read my... In Buddha's time, many could. Buddha could also read minds. They know what you're thinking, what you're doing. But mostly people don't see it. And if many of them concentrated on those people trusted and look upon to hear their teaching, their preaching, their interpreting of the holy books, like the Bible or Torah or Quran, for example, or Granth Sahib, for example, because people look at them, listen to them. So their energy also affects the people. Yes. yes so yes, the master. priest or whoever is up there in the pulpit, they should keep their mind clean, yeah? And every day, not just there, not just at that time. First, I told you these pedal priests 
and the pop. They are not pure, they are not clean. They should be kicked out of the Vatican. Otherwise, they infect everybody. Yes, right. yes, yes. Because people trust them, and when they trust them, they look at them with adoration, with respect. And the energy exchanges. Yes, 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 yes. When you look into people's eyes or their faces, whatever they have in there, you share. Mm. Mm. That's why these priests are no good, no matter where they are sent to. Yes. yes. Mm. If they're not clean, cleanse themselves, or truly heartfelt repentance, which is difficult, because once they do such things, it's very difficult to forget. They want to do it again, just like an addiction. Yes, yes, yes And it was so easy for them to do it because they are in the position of control. And their words are law and the vulnerable people and children. They are helpless against it. They have been tutored into believing in these priests and obedience also. Yes. That is a problem. The same with all the nuns, they also molest others, children, and, or maybe adults also. Because they believe in them. The people believe in them. They have been conditioned to believe in priests and nuns. Yes, yes. yes Master. It never crossed their minds to doubt these people. To them, they are holy. They are representatives of God on earth. Yes. Yes. Earth, they can do anything they want with them because they are vulnerable. Mm. Yeah. too obedient and until they realize it is too late they didn't know how to react and it's too late afterwards yes, yes. Yes, and then this scars them all their lives and that is the most troublesome and cruel thing inflicted upon them it's not just a sexual act which is already taboo anyway yes, yes. yes. but even then the prop say it's not very serious what else then huh what else do you think is serious you inflict pain psychologically, mentally, physically upon the kid. Some of them die because of all these brutal rapes upon their very delicate body. Yes. 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 Little frame, not developed. All their bones and everything are not yet developed completely. Still very fragile. And how can he stand in there on the podium and say, oh, it's not uh, serious mm. and can forgive them? And then if people ask him to judge, ask Francis to judge them, he says, who am I to judge them? Then who is he to forgive? Right. Yes, yes, yes. yes, Master. One mouth, one tongue. He has many tongues, I guess. Or his tongue is so flexible, he can twist it around. Yeah. Mm. That's what we say in Vietnam. We say because the tongue doesn't have any bones, so it can twist around. Yeah. Meaning you can say anything. Mm. Yeah, yeah yes. contradicting yourself like him. Yes. If he says, who is he to judge people, then why does he judge the gay people, right. the lesbian people? All they want is just to be openly recognized so they can live together. Yes. 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 They're honest. They don't want to hide. They don't want to be this kind of hypocrite, yeah, like him. Yes, master. Do many bad things and then say something good. Just trendy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. God, so sickening, you know, it makes me want to vomit, truly. So on one hand, it says, a sexual uh, act is not sinful, not too serious. Thing. Then why does he condemn the gay people and doesn't give them the blessing for their union? Yes, yes. Master. yes Master. They are gay people, they are lesbian people, they are bi people, right. they are trans people. Mm -hmm. This is what happens in our society. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's no good to deny it. That's true, Master. Just to make things worse. They're also human. They have the right to live like everyone else. Yes. Yes, Master. They have the right also to fall in love. Yes, Master. Nobody can force them to fall in love. Nobody can force them to love anyone else except themselves. Yes. And they're also helpless to fall in love like everyone else. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So, if he says, who is he to judge anyone else, and why does he judge the gay people? Right. Right. Uh, they are also humans. Mm. That's right, Master. But they look like you and me. Yes, yes, master. yes master. And if the two adults consent to a, a solid and lifelong relationship, then just let them be. Yes, 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 master. yes master. Are they not raping children? No. no. At least, no. yeah? Yeah, no, yes, that's master. true, Master. If sexual sin is uh, not much, then why condemn the gay people? This guy, he has no IQ. 
Mm-hmm. If he's not a devil, not to talk about he's a devil already, or working for the devil, he has no IQ at all. Mm-hmm. It's not worth one cent to sit there in the Vatican to rule over other people and talk nonsense all the time. Yes, yes Master. Master. And infect people with his breath while he's talking. It's not just nonsense, it's infectious. Yes, yes Master. Master. The vulnerable people, they don't know anything. They don't read much about what he does or what he says. They just believe in him because they're desperate to believe in God. They're desperate to hold on to something, to survive, to live on in this difficult world, especially in this period of troubled waters. So they have to believe in him. They want to believe in him. And that's how he can mislead them. That is the thing. It's not just about him saying anything. Anyone can say what they want. Yes. It's just whether or not you influence people badly or favorably. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And this filthy mouth of his with blood dripping from the rare beef or medium rare, whatever they call it, the blood still dripping. His blood dripping mouth should better shut up or somebody sew it up so that he doesn't breathe out all this ugly, filthy and idiot talk again. Yes, yes, yes master. master. So do not put whatever he says into your heart, okay? Just yeah. throw it out quickly. As soon as you hear it, you throw it out in the garbage or bury it in the ground. My God, poor garbage. Contaminates the garbage even. This kind of people, you better not go near. Okay, my yes, yes, yes. He and his gang men, they say they are the mafia. Yeah. Mm. Some people, a big name one former presidential candidate, say that they are mafia. They confessed it themselves. Almost. It's a society like that. How can it not be an evil organizing group within that organization Mm -hmm. doing evil things or they just vote for each other so that they continue to have power? Yes, 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 Master. That's how it is. It's just like the mafia. Oh, yeah, what else, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they drink, they eat bloody meat, they rape children. It's worse than the mafia. Yes, mafia. Yes. And they murder children as well. Mm. The mafia, mostly they kill only adults mm. or those who betray them. Yes. Betray their organization in some way, you know, like maybe informing the government. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Or maybe do something that's harmful to their business, like drug business or whatever secret business that they're doing. Yeah, then they kill them. Yes, mm. yes. But these children... They trust it in the priest and the church and the holy teaching of Jesus. And they use them, they abuse them, they rape them, they murder them. Yes. They're worse than the mafia. Right, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. The mafia, they have their principles. Mostly they say they don't kill women, don't kill children. Yes. Yes. Gangsters, they have some principles themselves. I don't mean gangsters are good or the mafia are good. I have not had a chance to see any of them, but at least they don't just kill or rape children like that just for their own lowly desires. That's right, yes, Master. Evil intentions. Yes, yes, yes Master. And they're still sitting in the high days and talking uh, holy what? Yeah. Truly holy. Oh, man, very holy indeed. Big hole. The mouth is like a big empty hole. Dirty hole. That's what it is. So I wonder why all the Christian people do nothing. Only one archbishop wrote a letter to tell Francis to resign, T. Francis to resign. I don't want to call him Pope because that is a sacred word to me, okay? Yes, Master. He's the father of all beings, and then he let them, molest them, raise them, kill them at random like that, even in the womb already. Then he's not worthy to be called Pope. Yes, Master. So I wonder why all the Christian people do nothing. Only one archbishop wrote a letter to tell Francis to resign, T. Francis to resign. I don't want to call him Pope because that is a sacred word to me. Mm. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, yes. The father of all beings, and then he let them, molest them, raise them, kill them at random like that, even in the womb already. Then he's not worthy to be called Pope. Yes, yes, yes Master. Pope means father. Yeah. Father of all, at least to the faithful. But what did he do? He doesn't defend them. He doesn't try to protect them. 
not vigorously, nothing. Mm. That's true, Master. Just say a couple of words, it's because they have to. Right. Like trendy. Say something trendy, so confusing people, whether or not he's evil or he's good. That's what it is. Just to distract people from thinking bad about him. Yes. Yes, yes Master. So this uh, man, P. Francis, should be kicked out. Mm. Yes, yes. Master. I don't know why they don't do it. Only one guy did it. I don't know what's happening to the Catholic Church anymore. I don't know what happened to Christianity anymore. It must be the end of the world. So the holy knowledge is going to be lost. It's already lost. First, the people who are supposed to represent it are evil. Mm. Evil, all right. More than evil. Yes. Yes, yes Master. Worse than the criminals in the society. Yes. Worse than all these uh, serial killers. Worse. Mm. Yes. These serial killers, maybe they're crazy. Maybe something's wrong with their mental Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. But they don't kill and rape children the way they do like this. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Right, Master. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what happened to Christianity now. Mm. Nobody dares to say anything. Nobody does anything. Just talk or even try to avoid the sensitive topic. Don't mention Biden. Don't go against our right, P. Francis, etc., etc. Mm. Mm. I say P like P P. Okay, not like pop. Yeah. Yes, yes master. master. Pedophile, P. Because if you are uh, accomplice with some criminals, then you are the same. Yes, Master. Yes, master. More yes. or less the same category. Yes, yes, yes master. master. You must like it in order to understand these kinds of criminal activities. Otherwise, you would condemn it. Yes, yes, yes master. master. He cannot open his mouth because he probably has done it himself. Mm. Right. With all these gay uh, escorts going to his private residence. What are they doing there? Having parties, even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After some drinks and then some big uh, bloody beef steak and then chicken people, then anything can happen. That's mm. right, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah, yeah. So holy indeed. All these such shameless cheaters. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Even the whole thing together, the whole gang together. Not just shy or privately or shamefully do it because... They cannot help it or whatever. Not even shame. It's all in the open like that. Mm. Yeah. Luckily, some journalists maybe this guy to be one of the gay escorts or mm. something. Mm-hmm. Or bringing wine in or bringing alcohol in to discover these things. Oh. Otherwise, nobody would know because it's done in secret. In the pop mm. private residence. Mm. Who would dare to go there? Right. right. Who is allowed to? Mm-hmm. They only allow who they want to. Yes, yes. yes. That's true. To have this kind of all his party. Mm-hmm. My God. Oh my God. What happened to Christianity? What happened to all this holy thinking? Mm-hmm. So you can see the end is near. Mm-hmm. And what in raunchy girls and all this stuff? Yes. Yes. Not just one time accidentally, no. Mm-hmm. Even say like. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Ah. Okay, now you know. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not like everyone going to the church is holy yes. mm. or sincere. Not everyone put into the position of a church leader or head priest or anything like that is worthy of their salt. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is the thing with our world. Yeah. And so it just keeps doing this and accumulating it. That's why we have arrived to where we are today. All rotten and murderous, dangerous, everything happening in our world today is like hell. Mm. And nothing else but hell. My God, what else? The World Health Organization says more than half of the European region will be infected with the Omicron variant within six to eight weeks. The WHO says more than seven million COVID-19 cases were reported in the first week of 2022, doubling the rate seen two weeks previously. On Monday, the U.S. reported a single day record of one million new infections. Fluorona is a term being coined for when someone is suffering from both the flu and the coronavirus. And on top of that, a new COVID variant has been detected in France. It is called IHU. The virus is very happy 
without causing any damage to the cells or to the human bodies. Because the longer the body is living, the more the virus can multiply and replicate. At each time the virus replicates, the risk of new variants emerge. Like previous variants, Omicron is hospitalizing people and it's killing people. And it can infect even those who have been previously infected or vaccinated. Uh, I told you, if they cure one variant, they will breed another. Yes. 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 And now they already say that Omicron is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Before they say only mild. And now it's dangerous. Many children are getting infected. Before such a young age did not get COVID so easily. You know, those are groups that are not supposed to be like at risk. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They now got all this Omicron and that sick in numbers. While the new variant of coronavirus is believed to be milder than Delta, more children under five years are reaching the hospitals in America. Last week, a record number of children ended up in hospitals across the US, the highest level since the pandemic began. This brings in the argument that whether children can handle COVID better should change at the moment since they are not vaccinated and also in the light of Omicron that causes different symptoms from the Delta, how much are children protected or how vulnerable they are needs to be reassessed. This research letter appearing in JAM Internal Medicine, it's an important piece of work because it counters a still pervasive narrative that COVID-19 is a disease of the elderly, that young people can shrug it off. True, fewer young people have died from COVID-19 than older people, but more young people have died from COVID-19 during the pandemic than nearly any other cause. Here's a graph of observed versus expected deaths among 25 to 44 year olds in Texas during the study period. So yes, COVID-19 kills young people. It kills them more than virtually any other thing kills young people. It isn't just Texas, by the way. It is better to be young during this pandemic than to be old, that's for sure. But if you are young, it's clearly much better to not become infected with COVID-19. It is, after all, more likely to kill you than just about anything else. Many hospitals are filled to capacity. So many people who need operations have to wait. Mm -hmm. Ambulances are instructed to bring only truly serious cases. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. One woman was pregnant and needed delivery, but they didn't let her in. Oh. And she had miscarriage. Oh. 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 Right in front of the hospital. Oh. Yeah. Because she didn't have a vaccine or something like that. Oh. Yeah. On delivery day. Oh my God. Just, just let them die outside. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's horrible. Many people die nowadays with serious illnesses because the hospitals don't accept them anymore. Either they are too full or they don't have enough staff. Many staff quit because they don't want to have the vaccine, the mandated vaccine. So they quit. Yes, because yeah. if they're yes. not vaccinated, they're not allowed to work. Right. Yes. 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 So, for example, in America, they quit in tens of thousands, thousands in all fields, not just hospitals. So everywhere has shortage of staff. Many restaurants close because of shortage of staff. Many big supermarkets or big shops close, like Macy's, for example. Is that big in America? Yes, 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 yes oh, Master. Oh, they are closing one after another. Yes, oh. yes, that's right. Yes, because they don't have enough staff. And other chains, big chains also, but I forgot the names. Maybe Walmart or whatever else. Yes, Walmart. So the Omicron not only infects individuals and spreads fast, but the new ones spread even faster, they said. Oh. The new one after Omicron, they call it Delta Cron or something like that. Oh. That was after Fluorog, after IHU. Yeah, one after another. I told you, they will manifest more and more variants to deal with the vaccines. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Many breakthrough cases meaning they're already fully vaccinated and they still got Omicron. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, and some die just like that. 
Oh my God. And it's not just that, the economy is dying too. Yes. yes. Just before they wanted to open, let it be, you know, just live with the COVID and then boom. Delta came and then boom. Omicron came and now Delta Cron. It's not Delta, it's Delta Cron. It's after Omicron. Yes. yes. I think the Delta Cron was a combined variant of the Omicron and Delta. Yeah, Delta mm. and Omicron. That is the problem. Mm. And this is more dangerous. And also, uh, that was after flu grew out. Because flu and corona. Mm. Mm. And then after Ihu, I just cannot even think about that anymore. My God, how difficult can it be just to forsake the piece of meat for peace in the world and for a healthy planet, healthy humans. Humans are now an endangered species, not to talk about any other beings. Yes, Master. They're endangering themselves. They're eating themselves to extinction soon. Many people look down upon COVID. They all die. Yeah. Whoever just opens the mouth and say, oh, I don't believe it. They don't exist. Oh, die soon. Mm. So some days or some weeks later. Yeah, I read all in the news. They don't have respect for the COVID. You know, they think it's a hoax. Or they say, oh, it's just little bugs or the little virus. And they die. Many famous people die. We're losing, losing so many famous people and so many big mouth people as well, anti virus, all kinds of things. They all die. That's why I told you before, uh, some months ago, that you should be humble, yeah, and grateful that you don't have it. Yes. yes that yes, you're master. still alive, that you're healthy. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yeah. Even disciples. If they're arrogant and if they don't meditate enough, they will get it also. Yes. That's why I told you before, uh, some months ago, that you should be humble yeah, and grateful that you don't have it. Yes. yes. That yes, you're still master. alive, that you're healthy. Okay? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yeah. Even disciples, if they're arrogant and if they don't meditate enough, they will get it also. Yes. Yes, Master. Yes, when I say disciples won't get it, I mean my disciples. I don't mean those who come in just for fun or loud mouth or just to be sociable or just to look for girls or boys. Yes. Right. Or praying for rich and fame. Yes, yes Master. Master. They are not my disciples. No matter how many times they go to retreat, no matter how much they try to look like they're helping with anything, with the ashram or with my teaching. They are not my disciples. Yes, 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 yes. Master. They're just followers and mostly follow their own ego, their own motive, okay? Yeah. Their own agenda. Right, Master. They are not my disciples. My disciples won't get COVID. And even if they accidentally have it, then it's just very mild and then they will be cured like normal, okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. They won't have side effects. They don't have long term COVID. Yes, yes Master. Yes, master. Sometimes they cannot help it if they work in the hospital all day or night. They're exhausted. Yes. And then they might be careless for a few moments. Right. Thinking they are protected. But they don't meditate enough. Or maybe they ate something wrong that they did not know. Mm-hmm. And then that will affect them, okay? And also too many patients having COVID around them. Yes. And if they just forget to wear the mask properly. When you wear the mask, you have to wear it to cover the nose and pinch it so that it covers completely the nose, not have any holes or air coming in. Yes, yes, master. yes master. If you just wear it over the mouth, what's the use of that? Right. Yes, master. You don't speak even, so. Yes. If you wear it just over the mouth and don't eat. Yes, yes master. master. The COVID doesn't only come through the nose. It comes through the eyes, the ears also in some cases. Right. Oh, yeah. But mostly through the nose because you breathe in these uh, droplets, you see? Yes. yes mm-hmm. So if you have a face shield and you have the mask, cover the nose and pinch the, the metal trick in it to hug the nose tight, yes, mm-hmm. then that is more useful. And also it depends on what kind of mask you wear. There are some better than others. Yes. Yes. And if you just wear one layer of handkerchief, then it's useless. Right. A handkerchief and a cloth has to be many layers. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. 
Yes. And then some thick, dense fabric thread. Yes. yes. yes sir. Not all handkerchiefs were the same. When I demonstrated in the tip of COVID, I did not have any handkerchief with me. I used one of those uh, cleaning cloths, just for example only. Yes. 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 yes, How to make it quick and simple without any equipment needed. But you should wear proper masks. Mm. Yes, master. And even then, that's not enough. You have to wear all the uh, face shield, and you have to avoid the crowd, mm. and avoid people who seem to have COVID or uh, sick. You can never be careful enough these days. So you just have to try to protect yourself as much as possible. Yes, master. But if you wear the mask only at the mouth and not the nose, then. Then goodbye. Soon. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> you do what you want, you know. Yes. But the funeral home is waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. yeah. If you don't do what the doctors say, you know, even just a mask, simple. Some people say, oh, I don't like to wear a mask, you know, it's too troublesome. It's not as troublesome as being sick. Laying mm -hmm. in the hospital, making the nurses and the doctors more exhausted. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Worrying about your butt, sorry. Yes. With all these tubes and needles and IV and machines and isolation and incubation, etc., etc. Yes, yes, Nothing yes. more troublesome than that. That's right. Yes. Besides, you have to think, look at all the doctors and the nurses and the hospital personnel. They have to wear it all day long and every day. Mm. Right. right. Yes, and sometimes more than 24-7 because they have to be on duty since they are short of staff. Or they have to be on duty as well because the hospital is full. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So these people, they have to wear more than you have to. All kinds of things and gloves and extra, you know, clothes and extra mask and extra hat on top. Yes, yes. Master. Yes, master. And extra shield and all, all kinds of troublesome things and extra shoes, different shoes to walk in the hospital. They are disinfected shoes, disinfected clothes that they're wearing, and so many layers when the whole face is almost covered with the head and everything. Imagine how much they're suffering and suffocating mm. just for the patient's sake. I feel very, very sympathetic for them, very sorry. Nowadays, normally only the uh, OR doctors and nurses have to wear it during an operation. Now they have to wear it all the time oh. Oh. for COVID because they have to be there all the time now. Yes. There's always an emergency because this is an infection. Yes. Yes. They have to protect themselves. But even then, thousands of doctors and nurses die. Yes. I don't know how many thousands, but at least more than a thousand. You check it out, okay? Yes, Master. All because people are not careful and take their life for granted. Even if you don't want the vaccination, because you don't trust the vaccination, you must protect yourself. You wear masks, you wear shield, you wear tight clothes to cover all your body when you go out, and your gloves and a hat and all that. What's wrong with protecting yourself and protecting others? Yes. Yes. Right, master. Because wearing a mask or face shield and all those precautions, also in case you are asymptomatic and you might pass it on to other people. Right. Yes. Yes. So by protecting yourself, you're also protecting others, yeah? Yes. yes. Mm. True. I don't blame people for not taking the vaccine because there's so much conflicting information out there. Mm. And they are scared. Some people are scared. Some people are just so arrogant. Mm. Both of these types are no good for themselves. You just have to be moderate, be more humble, more open to learning mm. more things. Yes. What is good for you? Because our society, our world is always changing. Even science is always changing. Today they say this is good, tomorrow they say that is bad. Mm. Yes. Mm. There's something better all the time. You have to live in this type of society. So what to do? You just have to learn to live with it and to protect yourself, no? Yes, yes master. master. No one else can protect you, mm. only you, yourself. Yes. Yes. But the people make it so difficult. Even go out to protest just to not wear masks. Yeah. My God. 
Don't they have a lot of time, eh? <laughs> they should come and work for us. <laughs> <laughs> Then they don't have time to even open their mouth. <laughs> I will shut them up <laughs> before they even open. <laughs> With my sharp tongue, yeah? I will tell them, shut up. <laughs> shut up, go work. <laughs> Recite the holy names. Nothing else. <laughs> My God, don't they have time, eh? Yeah. Uh, anything just to protest for fun. Even to wear masks, protest. My God. What's wrong with wearing a mask? It's good also to cover yourself because outside is dusty. Yes. yes. And cold, sometimes cold, and many bacteria in the air also. Right. right. Mm -hmm. If the wind blows very strongly, sometimes in your direction, and if you happen to breathe in, deeply or open your mouth, then you go home, you get sick. Mm. That's it. Just very simple. There's no need for much more ado than that, okay? Yes. yes. yes master. Even just to wear a mask, okay? Only when you go out, you wear. When you go home, you do what you want, man. Huh? Yes. yes. yes Isn't that free enough? Yes. Yes. yes, master. And look at so many people have to wear masks all day long. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. people who have to sort out the dirty garbage or dangerous garbage. Mm. Yeah. Yes. yes. All the firefighters, they all have to wear special masks. Mm -hmm. And the doctors and the nurses and personnel in the hospital, they have to wear it all the time, all day long. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like the dentists, for example, they have to wear gloves all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when they take their hand gloves off for any reason, so eating or washing their hands or changing gloves, their whole hand is white. Yes. Right. yes. Powder white. Mm -hmm. Yes. Compared to the whole arms. Yes, yes. yes. I mean, really powder white, the sickening white. Mm. They have to wear like that. And they wear a mask also when looking into people's mouths. Mm. So, what's wrong with you just wearing for a couple of hours or at work and then you go home, you take it off? Yes. Yes, yes Martha. It's also protecting you even without the pandemic. Yes, yes. It's much better because people are sick everywhere, not just now. The pandemic is a different type of situation. But in a normal situation, when you go out, you always have a chance to encounter somebody who is sick. Right. Flu or any other infectious disease, they might not even know it themselves. Mm. Mm. So even after the pandemic, you should just wear a mask. Yes. 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 yes you see, I taught all the kitchen people to wear masks and wear gloves to cook for you. Yes, mm. yes Master. In our restaurants also the ones that I operate. Yes, Master. When I check, I tell them, you have to wear gloves. They wore only one glove to handle something. I say, you must wear the other one as well. Because you never know, sometimes you forget, you touch also without the glove. Yes. Yes. You cannot always remember working with one hand. Yes, yes master. master. When you work in the situation and forgetfulness or something forces you to use the other hand. Yes. So I force them to wear gloves, both hands, and to wear masks. That is in the restaurant. Before the pandemic, nothing. Yeah. That was long, long before. Before, at the beginning of my teaching already, everyone who cooked in the public kitchen in the ashram must wear masks and wear hand gloves. Funny story. This is a true story. I think I told you guys, but I'm not sure if you have it. It's in Chinese. There was a woman, one of your sisters, early days. She went home. She also wore a mask, wore gloves to cook. And with for her husband and, uh, and children, and the husband got mad. <laughs> husband didn't know anything, and was not initiated, and against Ching Hai also, yeah, anti Ching Hai. So he against me more. Wow. I told her, what are you doing? You sleep together all night, every night. You kiss each other. And what for you? You wear masks. Masks you cook for your husband. Huh? You even eat noodle soup together. Same spoon, maybe. Feeding each other. Romantic, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Or eating each other's leftovers because it's a pity to, to, to waste food. Yeah. So why are you wearing masks for, for your husband, huh? <laughs> no wonder he, he doesn't like me. I don't blame him. <laughs> you know, idiot, to the core. <laughs> <laughs> And these disciples, 
Oh, what? <laughs> the Auntie Ching Hai somewhere outside. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. yes. <laughs> ah, they live together in the same house every day. I mean, they don't have children, this couple. And they sleep together, no? Yeah. Same bed, no? Yeah? Yeah. They eat the same food, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and in Vietnam or China, they eat from the same dish together. Mm. Using their chopsticks, both chopsticks, uh, digging in the same bowl and the same vegetable soup, vegetable dish, and whatever. You know that, right? Yes, yes. yes. Family, that's what they do. And husband and wife eat together from the same dish like that, of course. Yeah. With their chopsticks. Not like he has one dish, she has one dish to eat uh, privately. No, they dig into the same vegetable dish or food or whatever, yeah? Yes. 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 Or maybe yes. I bite one bite and you one bite, you know. <laughs> you, me. <laughs> we share, yeah? And what for when I'm asked to cook, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's a true story. There are witnesses. I went to her house also. <laughs> To tell her. And at that time, the monks and nuns were with me. I don't know who was with me, but there were some with me. Mm -hmm. Still alive, not all dead yet. They know the story. And we were in their house. And the husband, as soon as he saw me coming, she invited me to come to her house. And by the way, I passed by, so I came in never look. Because she's a very pitiful person, very sweet and gentle, yeah? Yes. But it seemed like the husband is not very kind to her. So we went in, and then... Uh, as soon as I came in, he turned on the big radio. <laughs> oh, really? I turned his butt toward me. I don't blame him. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah, his character was also very bad, kind of not very nice, brutal. Oh. Uh, abusing the wife. She always wanted to leave. I said, never mind. Just be patient, yeah? Be sweet to him. Then maybe he will change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she wanted to be a nun also. That made him hate me more. Oh. I don't advocate that, okay? Mm. Only those who can should come with the parents' agreement writing on paper. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, I just said, oh, anybody who wants to come, I was too naive. But later on, so many complaints, so I say, uh, the newcomer has to have uh, an agreement letter from the parents or the husband or the wife. Yes, 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 yes master. You cannot just come at random like that. Even though they were adults already. They could decide for themselves. But I don't want all this conflicting energy aiming yes. towards me and all the hatred. Yes. It makes too much trouble. Many times we had to evacuate from our own home wow. in Chihu before. And people came and burned the house and all that and blamed it on us. Wow. Yeah. Saying that we burn it to get rid of the evidence. What evidence can wow. I have? Huh? What, what kind of evidence <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that they could find that we cannot find? <laughs> yes. That they know that we don't even know. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yeah. Just to make a, an excuse to try to harass us. Yes, yes. yes. Master. That man, that leader at that time, he's reborn again in a very horrible world oh. because of that. He has been chased and hunted all day long, every day. Oh my, God. Wow. oh my God! A very frightening experience for him every day. Wow. I don't know when it will end. Oh. Yeah, because I did nothing wrong. Yes, yes. And yes. even for tax things and stuff, is the accountant's things. You know, I know nothing about accounting. At that time, we even lived in tents. Yes, yes. yes master. Yeah, we did not even have caves yet <laughs> at that time. Caves were built later. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And even then they came and also had others making a lot of trouble that they had to leave the ashram a long time ago. They say we have nudists dancing inside. Oh. That's wow. why we didn't <laughs> let them in. It's not that we were on retreat. Yeah. They always wanted to come and just look, look while we were sitting and meditating or eating and all that. For what? Right. Mm, yeah. We don't go to their house and look at them when they eat, when they talk. Mm. Yes. Yes. Or when they change their clothes or go to the toilet, we don't do that. So why would anybody want to come to our house and do that? Right. Yes, yes. yes. So we say, if you're not initiated, you cannot come. We are meditating, we are on retreat, you know? Mm. Yes. And they didn't like it, so they came out and told lies to the police, all sorts of things. So that the police came and made trouble for us, or the government also came and made trouble for us. Oh, wow. 
and print it in the newspaper that we don't pay tax and all that. At that time, we didn't even have money. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, yes, we just made some uh, Chinese knots or something just to sell. Simple, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Or planting some soy sprout to sell. Yes, yes master. master. All right, never mind. That period is gone, it's done. But it was very difficult for me to do the retreat, travel the world, hold lectures and all that. I have to deal with all kinds of things. You know, they, they chase me everywhere. Wow. Mm. In the airport and even in the toilet, in the bathroom. It would just show up and scare me like that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, God. and ask me all these kinds of questions. Yeah. It was a very dark period and very troublesome. Also, some had relatives who came to become a monk, and he didn't like it. And he used his position as a national guard or something to make me not be able to come back to Taiwan. Wow. wow. You know, a visa and stuff. Mm. Wow. Yeah, many things I had to... But these were smaller things. There were many other big things. At one time, another time, or many times. All the Taiwanese newspaper and television printed all lies and all fabricated things that I don't even know what they're talking about. Yes, yes, master. yes, yes master. That was a very dark period. But why do I tell you all this? What was it before? Cooking. Wearing masks to cook at home. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's why the, the husband hated me. Uh, maybe that, or maybe he just didn't like it. He's a type of person, very uh, violent towards his wife. That's what she told me. So she wanted to run away and all that. I said, oh, just be patient. Maybe the karma will change. And then later I left. I don't know what happened to her. I still saw her sometimes in the ashram, mm -hmm. in retreat or weekends and stuff. But there were so many people. I could only see <laughs> maybe a glimpse now and then, you know. Yeah, that's right. They all hurrah around and I forgot who was who. Really, I can recognize those uh, older disciples, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yes. Sir. Also, some wives of the husband are jealous and also hate me, yeah? Mm. yeah. Mm. She thinks he is in love with me. Oh. Always goes on the weekends. Every time she see master's lecture somewhere and immediately has to leave, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> And the wife, of course, wants him to have what this is. Yeah. Uh, check out a car or whatever, yeah? yeah? No, he has to go. Master is in wherever, yeah? I must go. <laughs> okay, fine, go. But they go home and don't help her anything. I never thought like that. And I said, you take time to meditate. But your family or your duty, social duty or job duty, you must do it perfectly. Yes, yes Master. Even better than before. You have to show your love more to your wife and family even more than before because now you appreciate them more but no after eating drop the chopsticks I must go meditate it's 8 o'clock <laughs> go inside and meditate I don't know if he was meditating or sleeping or snoring in that room and lock the door even oh. <laughs> the husband or wife knocks but doesn't open yeah. All these types of so-called disciples, oh my God, they were killing me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really making a lot of trouble. A bad name and everything. Mm. Wow. They told people, I sold uh, old stuff for 800 US dollars. Now, how can I have such a money? I would have been rich by now. I have many socks, and if each one is eight hundred dollars, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't have to do anything. No business needed. Just sell socks. <laughs> Sticky socks. The older, the better. The more expensive. No, it's printed on the newspaper oh, in America, God. even. Mm. Oh. Wow. And they said I have an American daughter also. Mm. <laughs> oh. In the same article or the same uh, newspaper, they say Clinton's mother has an affair with whomever. Clinton is not the father, son, whatever they say. Oh, America is a land of possibility. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they say, prove it. That night, uh, his mother is a nurse. She was there. <laughs> she was in the hospital. Of course he's in hospital. Where else would she be? <laughs> huh? <laughs> and that man happened to be there. 
something like that. <laughs> of course, he goes to the hospital. Maybe he has stomach problem or diarrhea, something, no? Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Right. Yes, Master. Could he just go to the hospital exactly the night that his mother of <laughs> President Clinton was there on duty? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he knew. Maybe he saw the schedule of the whole hospital before he came. <laughs> or he asked. Just one night and then that's it. And Clinton was born. <laughs> <laughs> one night then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> In the same Spain, I was there too. I have a daughter. A man, a man. I wish I knew who that is. <laughs> I wish I knew. Where is that daughter? Yes, yes. And I wish I knew who is it that paid me $800 for the stinky sock that I had. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Yeah, I told you, I, I did not have to do business, <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. And I just do business, and they also criticize. You are a nun, you are a practitioner, a spiritual practitioner. Why do you do business? Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah, mm. if I don't do business, we don't have to bring Master TV. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. yes, Master. Very expensive, our TV. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. And everything else uh, related to it as well. Mm. Yes. Yes. And also many other expenses. I have to pay, my God, everything we have to pay. Hard cash in this world, no? Yes, yes Master. Master. I don't want to take donations, so I have to do business. I don't like it. You know, I like to just sit in the Himalaya. Yes. 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 yes Eating chapati, peanut butter, <laughs> <laughs> and samosas now and then. Yeah. yeah. That was the best time for me. Sometimes it's very hard work. Yes, Master. It's very hard work, challenging. Uh, very challenging. I hurt my eyes with all this light, you know, and I have a uh, headache. And sometimes my eyes cannot open well to even read the text or all, all the things. But I have to continue on because of time pressure. You know? yes. Yes, yes, I have to keep blinking my eyes and doing it and rubbing it and Aww. continue. Sometimes it's too much. I go out for a while, come back. It's the same. Aww. Not much different. Sometimes good, sometimes no good. It depends. And I have to see all these gruesome actions of humans on animals, people, and each other, and babies. Yes. And children. Yes, yes Master. Before I didn't know all this existed. I just know that humans are suffering, like in hospital and refugees from Vietnam and all that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know all this ugly, filthy, and brutal kind of life exercised by even the most holy people. Yes, Master. So the holy people, the most holy people on the planet. Yeah. That was too much for me. I was in shock as well. Yes, yes, yes Master. And it takes me a long time to even regain acceptance that mm. the world is like that. Mm. But still, I cannot accept it. Yes. Yes, 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 Master. I know it, but I cannot accept it. In my mind, I cannot. I mean, I accept it that I cannot do much about it, that, that the world is so troublesome like that. I just finally know. Yes, yes Master. It's like that, but it doesn't mean I accept it all. That's right. I think it's normal. No, no, no. No, it's, it's not. It's absolutely mm. evil, hell is it. Yes. Abnormal. To the ultimate sense of it, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. All right. Uh, anything else, Mother? Any questions concerning all that? This stuff that we read? Oh, you were too busy listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's always me who talks, and then you say, Master talks a lot. <laughs> I talk for all of you. <laughs> yeah. You have to talk also. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to listen and think at the same time, huh? Or oh, any questions about the last story? About the one year king? Wouldn't you like to be a king like that? <laughs> No. Well, no. better than uh, never. Uh, many people like to be leaders. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they come up to sit just for a while. The seat is not hot yet. They have been kicked out already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one revolution after another. In Vietnam, I remember in the later time, before the fall of Saigon or Vietnam, there were many prime ministers for president who came and uh, went... <laughs> Like yo-yo, you know, each one came up and talked very big, very loud, and then came down, and then the other one came up, talked louder and bigger, and then came down again. Uh, I can't remember how many. 
and everybody clapped. I don't know who clapped, but a lot of clapping. I heard it on radio. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was very young then, still high school, junior high school. I heard many big talks, lots of big talks, for nothing. The country was getting more and more chaotic, and then at the end, uh, nothing, nothing gained. A lot lost, mm. a lot of lost lives, loss of security, loss of food and necessities, loss of dignity. Loss of faith in God, Buddha, mm -hmm. lost relatives and friends and loved ones, even pet people, lost houses, homes, lost fields, all gardens, lost everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Many uh, coconut groves, take many, many decades to grow tall like that. It became all withered and died because of Agent Orange, for example. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that still affects people. Many children born after that were so deformed, so deformed. The blind, deaf, dumb, didn't have hands, feet, eyes, ears, didn't have this, didn't have that. Wow. Oh, so much deformity after Agent Orange and many other chemical stuff that rained down upon that little fragile, beautiful country. Mm. On children, on women, and all elderly alike. Oh, war is hell also. I told you, humans themselves are the pandemic. They're killing each other all the time. Yes. Yes, yes, yes Master. And now killing babies, just like uh, you swap a fly person to anything. Mm. Yeah. Or shake loose an end person to something. Mm. Right. Like normal. Yes, Master. Mm. My goodness. But yet spend a lot of money chasing after DNA or whatever DNA they chase after, even decades after, they still can find the qubit, yes, the killer. Yeah, recently, after many decades, they found the DNA and found out who killed one of the, teen, the teenage, only one teenage, and they chased him all these decades. Mm. But killing the baby inside the womb, nobody says anything, even pay money for it. Mm -hmm. Using car and tax money to pay for it. Yeah. and pay for it, abroad even, mm -hmm. if somebody requests. Believe that or not? Mm -hmm. And it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. It's legal. Yes, yes. <sighs> but if you kill somebody outside there, you go to jail. Or be executed even. Depends on what state or what country. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know, many wars, many, many hundreds of thousands of people die. And these so-called war leaders they have to go to jail afterwards for crimes against humanity. Mm -hmm. yes. Even after the war is over and the man already turned his life around and became a doctor and helps others instead, they still chase him and put him in jail. Mm. Uh, Milo Mikovic, something his name? Sabadan, Sabadan Milosevic. Say again? Sabadan Milosevic. I may not be pronouncing his name correctly. Yeah, more or less like that. In, in Serbia, yes. or something like that. Bosnia was in a war, yeah, at that time. I went to Europe on a lecture tour during that war time, mm. when Europe was on fire. There were 100,000 or maybe some tens of thousand people who died. Yes. 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 And they make him alone responsible, fine. Okay. War leaders, war mongols are never good, fine. That I accepted. But killing millions of children, and nobody says a thing. Mm. Babies. Mm. Yes. Innocent babies, not like enemies fighting each other and die, by the way. Yes, yes. Yes. Innocent babies, defenseless, already have a shape of humans even. At the time of delivery, you kill them and nobody says anything. What kind of bloody war is this? Huh? Yes, ma'am. I'm beyond anger. You understand me? Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes I just don't want to live in this world anymore. Not because I'm depressed or anything, but I feel so disgusted, so angry. Understand, yes, yes, Master. And so frustrated. What kind of race of people live on this beautiful planet and do such ugly, evil things to each other and to defenseless babies? Not to talk about killing billions of Animals, people, every week. Mm, yeah. 
I say every five minutes, maybe one million animals, people are killed. Mm. Or more than that, or five million. There's the actress, she says five, two, or one million. Every hour, mm. five million an hour, or two million, one hour, or one million an hour. She was playing in Batman, Robin, what's her name? I forgot. Alicia Silverstone. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Alicia Silverstone, yeah. She was saying that on our TV as well. Ten billion farm animals are killed every single year in America, and that's one million animals per hour. That's astounding. One million animals per hour are slaughtered for food. That really disturbs me. Not to talk about that even. They kill their own flesh and blood in millions, huh? in tens of millions, all the time. Not just one year, two years, or one day, two days, or one month, two months. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Every year, tens of millions of Unborn or born on the day of delivery, babies die in, in anguish. Nobody defends them, nothing. I mean, some groups, they do it, of course, but this is illegal thing everywhere. This is so disgusting, so, so bloody. Ah! So hell is. All these people are responsible. And they will go to deep, deep, deep as hell. Mark my words. I'm not threatening them. It will be like that. Yes, yes master. Yeah. Yes, master. If you have a wisdom eye, you will see. Some psychic people can see the hell. Already. Some people can go to hell and see all that. All these meat eaters, baby killers, war mongers, children raping, molesting, they all go to the deepest hell and be in there forever and have the same thing done to them by the devils. Again, again, and again, they cannot escape. And burning again and again alive, but they cannot die. They think they can do anything in the dark or in the locked and trapped room and nobody would know. Mm. God sees everything. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Unless you don't believe that God exists. If you don't believe God exists, what for you become a Christian priest? Right. Right, mm. right Master. Living in the Vatican or going there where Jesus and Mary are worshipped. Yes, right. Yeah, what are they doing in there? <laughs> if you don't teach English and you go into the English teaching school, what are you doing there? Yes. yes. <laughs> and then even go against the principle of that English school or the owner of that English school. Yeah. And a bad influence to all the students telling them, don't learn English. Yes, yes Master. Isn't that funny? Yes. yes. <laughs> But this is what the P. Francis and all the pedophiles, priests are doing. Mm, that's right. Yeah. That's so illogical. But all the governments just turn the blind eyes and let the children suffer in the dark and alone. They have mouths, but they cannot tell anybody. They cannot complain anywhere. They cannot do anything. And all these governments who ignore this up to date, they will also go to hell who are responsible, who are supposed to take care of this and don't do it, they will also go to hell because of the share karma. Understand me? Yes, yes master. master. It's just like in your house you are hiding some criminal, mm. Mm. and if the police catch the criminal in your house, you also be doomed, be accused. Yes. yes. Also yes, do master. jail term or something. Depends. Depends on the crime. You'll be classified as the accomplice. Yes, yes. yes. yes master. All right. I keep telling that again and again. I hope that really understand what I'm saying. It's not a joke, it's not a threat. It's just reminding me that I'm so angry and I'm so frustrated that these people are supposed to be intelligent and don't understand this logic and have no compassion for helpless children and babies of three, four, five years old even. Suppose it's their babies, their children. Would they also like it and just let it go? No, no, no master. master. Or suppose it's themselves who are these uh, three, four, five years old kids or children? Yes. All the boys and all that being raped and so injured that they even die of it. Yes. Or are murdered. Yeah, imagine the baby, uh, three, four years old, or even teenagers, so fragile, you know? Yes. And all these big fat frisks crushing on them. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. How can they bear it? Yeah. They will be crushed, broken, physically, not to talk about. Mentally, many die because of that. Oh. Of course, they will be looking like an elephant 
to them, to these little children, That's true, babies. Master. Yes, Master. Yeah. Yes, Master. They're big and fat with a big belly and all that, yeah. and reeking of alcohol and blood in their mouth even. Yeah. Oh. Ugh, yuck, my God. Compared to that, hell may be better. Hell, they punish only the guilty, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They don't molest the innocent or kill the innocent. That's why they have to seduce you so that you can do bad things in order for them to punish you. Mm. Yes, yes. Yes. Hell and the devils, they do that so that they can eat you. After they roast you, they eat you. Then they roast you again because you won't die there. You don't have the physical body to die or to shut it out. No, you never die in hell. You'll be punished again, again, and again, but you never die. That is the thing. Some hells are non-stop punishment, not even a one-second reprieve. Imagine that. You just suffer, 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 suffer. Never ends. Some hells are like that. Depends on the crime on earth. This world is getting worse and worse. I don't know what are we doing this for. I don't know if anybody really listens. Oh, God. All the idiots and the evil are controlling the world, are leading the world to hell. Not just the devils. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. All these idiot leaders and religious evil leaders are leading the world to hell. Leading all the faithful, the vulnerable believers to hell together with them. That's how hell will be full and will be populated and will be the fun, the joy for these devils down there to torture and to eat. Oh, my God. Because that's their food. Yes, 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 master. Master. yes master. Just like on earth, people barbecue pork or beef or fish or whatever and call that food. Yeah. Mm. In hell, they eat humans. Burns and barbecue or boy in the oily cauldron and then they eat. Yes, yes master. master. That's why they want as many as possible to sin, to be seduced, so that they can eat them. Torture them, have sadistic fun, and then eat them. But most humans don't know that. That is the thing. And I'm telling them now, maybe many of them would think I'm reading stories. Or just saying that. It's not true. It is 100% true what I'm saying. Yes, Master. Yes, Yes, Master. Okay, my love. Any more questions? About that uh, story, the one-year king you mentioned, Master? Ah. That the locals there were loved by the local god, and the local god loved the people so much, he prayed to the Almighty to help them with the king. But why would he pray for a king that is only one year, or someone that can do more for them? Because you can never trust if anybody can do any more. Or they just talk and enjoy the taxpayers' festivals and wine and dine, so one year should be enough. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Yeah. How many kings can be a saintly king and help their people? All these uh, historical kingdoms. Yes. How many kings or how many presidents truly did anything good for their people? Yes. Not apparently, but truly put their heart into practice put love for the people before themselves. How many? So that's why this God, he knew it. (laughs) So if you think one year is enough, enjoy the best for both parties. The people enjoy the best because in one year he couldn't do much harm. (laughs) (laughs) And then uh, they have a king just to celebrate, just to have a kingdom, just to have a symbol head. And the king also enjoys to the full, couldn't care less about the future. This is a symbol of our life here. It's just telling you also that whatever you are given, whatever your fate, you can't escape. Yes. Mm. For example, that guy, he was just a slave. But his uh, owner, the slave owner at that time of that system, was really a good person. And that slave probably was very loyal and very diligent, yeah, very respectful. In all ways, in all means, he was a very good, good, good worker. So the owner felt like he deserved something better than just being a slave all his life. Yes. yes. So both are honest, the owner as well as the slave of that system at that time. And he wanted for him to be free. 
not a slave anymore, and not just free, but have riches, business, and all that. But lo, and behold, this slave's fate, destiny, is not to to enjoy all the given riches and not to prosper from that. So even you know, the owner give him a good ship, many good sailors, and so many things for him to go over seas, to sell, to make business, to prosper, to enjoy. Still he could not. Immediately when he went out to the sea, suddenly the storm came and beat him up. Yes. Mm. Everything that was given to him is gone. Yeah. Yes. But at least he had some a little merit left, so he became a king in one year. <laughs> <laughs> and then, for the wise counsel or the cleverness, a humbleness that he thought of his old age. A clever human, it doesn't matter what befalls them, it's just life. The course of life will surprise you with many events. It doesn't matter, you just have to deal with it and you have to think of the days ahead. When you have a chance, just right now, people have a chance to repent and to stop all this blood eating, stop all this harassment, and torturing of animals, people, and babies, and children, and war, and all that. But they don't use it. Then in the future, in the near future, they will reap the bad karma of it. Yeah. Iniquity. Yes, the bad iniquity karma. Many people don't wake up. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Only the wise ones would think of their true home later, after they uh, a king no more with no power, nothing anymore. But they already prepared for their real home. Just like now we meditate well, we pray every day, we meditate, we know God, we contact God, we think of God, and we know where our home is already. We prepare. We prepare everything. So the day we leave this physical body, we go home. You see, just like that king, he knew he could not wait for the day that he becomes dethroned. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So that he could go to his real home that he built himself, yes. to his liking, yeah. yes. and with all the things that he needs. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we are building also our own heavenly home to our liking, because the style of heaven is the style that we want. Thus we prepare similarly heaven-like already, and many disciples cannot wait to die. <laughs> 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 not like they're depressed or anything. Yeah. Just they know this world is nothing. Even children told me that. <laughs> children told me it's just illusion. It's not our real home. Real home is in heaven. You know, our <laughs> children in his age. Yes. yes. On children's day, they told me that. Some say surprising things. Mm. Also, this story is just to show you that everything is ephemeral. Whether you are a slave, or you become a rich merchant, or you become a king. Mm. Yes. It's all the same. It's all very, very short-lived. Yes, Master. Yes. Yes, Master. Whatever you prepare for yourself for the future, while well, you can, that is the lasting thing. That is your real, real home. Like that. the story is a parable, okay? Mm. Yes, yes, Master. To remind us that human life is short-lived, is unpredictable, but we can control our future while we have a chance. Don't wait until it's too late, like many other kings before this slave king. Yes, yes. 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 This is just a parable to compare to humans' lives, because sometimes many people experience ups and downs. Sometimes they're very rich, and then they became poor, and then become rich again, even more than before. But everything will have to be left behind. Mm -hmm. yes. We cannot carry anything to heaven or the afterlife, unless we build something, like with our virtues, with charity, with contact, true contact, direct contact with heaven, with God. Otherwise, we will not know where we're going anyway. Right. Mostly yes. to hell, or just any ordinary human beings, or punished accordingly. You see, like the story I told you before about a Vietnamese man, he was very rich in Vietnam. Many people who were refugees, not because they were poor. I was told that they used diamonds even to buy water in the refugee camp wow. in Thailand, for example. Wow. Wow. Because they, they didn't have enough water there. Yeah. And that's the only thing they have to ex 
exchange. Yes, yes. They have like a handful of diamonds or a bag full of diamonds with them. They were rich. They were not just poor people. Yes, yes. Or use gold to exchange for some food that they want, for example, like that. It's better than being hungry. Or what? Uh, you keep in the diamonds? Mm, or yes. being thirsty and keeping the diamonds or keeping the gold to die, no? Mm, yes, right, So they have no choice. They use it to exchange for food or drink in some dire situations. Mm. And uh, one man uh, was very rich in Vietnam like that. But when he became refugee, he went to America. He lost everything. Oh. Yeah. Maybe he could not bring it with him. Maybe he was lost to the sea pirates. Yeah. Yes. Or he lost it at sea when the, the boat sank, whatever. Yeah. You never know. But he was very rich and became nothing. Wow. Penniless. Became nothing. No money, nothing. So luckily, his relatives let him work in the bread shop, mm. bakery. And then they even let them, the husband and wife, stay in the back room. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a shower there, just toilet. So they used water to sponge bath for several years mm -hmm. and save all the money. So they didn't go by car, they didn't go by bus. They ate just very simple and lived there. Yes. Also in exchange, took care of the shop, yes, like yes. cleaning and all that afterwards. After three years, four years, he had enough money to buy that shop. Oh. Yeah, and became an owner again. And then, because they, they still continue to diligently save money, and then they open another shop, open another shop. Right. Yeah, mm. they didn't just immediately use the interest on the money, the profit to buy a house, you know, <laughs> buy a car, you know, like before. Mm -hmm. And then he became very, very rich and famous again in America. Oh. Mm. It was a true story. I just don't remember his name. So it's very similar to this story, eh? Mm. Yes. He was very rich in Vietnam, and then he became poor because he was a refugee, lost mm. everything. And then slowly, like he became a slave, yes. working for his relatives and pinching every penny for the future, mm -hmm. saving it. Didn't dare to spend anything. They lived very frugally, almost on nothing, just food, and buying secondhand uh, clothes and all that stuff, and tip shop, mm -hmm. and uh, sponge baths, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. not using any luxury, not renting even a room. And then after a while, he opened more shops, more shops, when he became rich again, more than before, mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that man, eh? Mm -hmm. First, he had a lot of money, <laughs> and then he lost it all in the shipwreck. Yes. Yes, and then he became a king, also temporary. <laughs> <laughs> Life is always uh, giving us uh, many surprises. Yes. Yes. Life is always giving us many surprises. Yes. yes. So it depends on how we are trained for it. Yeah. I have been trained in hardship, so whatever happens to me, I, I survive. Mm -hmm. Trained under the war, yes. Yes. trained in the hardship. When my family lost their business and my mother was cheated out of many hundreds of thousands of dollars in Vietnamese money at that time, mm -hmm. quite a big sum. Mm -hmm. And then she had my sister and then had after birth, uh, sickness and all that. And my father was even in prison because people say he was a communist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the enemy. They just said that because somebody was caught doing nothing at all. And then they just, in order to stop being tortured, they just said any name that they know. No. They said, yeah, 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 I did it, I did it. But with him, with this person, with that person. Oh, yes, yes. And my father happened to treat him. Oh, his sickness, and then so he just knew him, and then he just said his name. Wow. wow. Yeah, and then so father had to go to prison. He didn't know anything. We even had to escape the city. We went into the jungle in order to escape the war. Wow. And after the war uh, calmed down already, he came back home, and then people said he was a communist. Mm -hmm. wow. He had to go to jail. And then my mother was having... A baby just at that time, and then he was in jail, and then I was only seven, eight, nine years old. Or no. uh, maybe I was nine, no, no, not that old. Eight years old. Mm. I had to go to the jail to ask the warden to release my father. Yeah. Mm. And then he did. <laughs> <laughs> he said just 24 hours, okay, but it's enough time for my father to save my mother. She was 
really in a physical condition. Oh, and yeah. we were in a house in a rural area that didn't have good hospital. Yeah, yes, yes. And she had the baby and it was only me. Oh, where can I take my mother to? Yes. And the baby as well. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. And then afterward, he looked at my father, data, yeah. mm-hmm. and he thought, oh, this man cannot be any, <laughs> anything bad. Yeah. So he let my father go home. Mm. Yeah. So my sister's name is the warden's name. <laughs> <laughs> I told you already. Yes. Uh, her name is, is not a woman's name. <laughs> because the warden was a man. He was very kindly. And uh, this prison warden also has the same name as a king. So my sister is the king. <laughs> and I am a nobody. <laughs> I'm a middle. You know, middle kids are normally nobody. <laughs> you know, they dotted all their affection on the firstborn. Yeah? Yeah. So every day I have to hear my parents sing the song about how beautiful, how good, how filial, how able my elder sister is mm. all the time mm. and I am nobody <laughs> <laughs> so they dot it all on the first born yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, by the second born they are tired <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of had enough so just relax man so we are just almost like forgotten yeah and then after that of course the last born was the most spoiled also okay mm. after that they revived and <laughs> it felt good again. So they dotted on the, the last one. The middle one is uh, normally nothing. <laughs> it's also good that they didn't pay a lot of attention to me. I feel free. <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah. They both love me, of course. It's just a saying, you know, they say the middle kids are just a nobody. Yeah? <laughs> because after paying no attention and detail and well, in the first one, they get tired. <laughs> so the second one, they relax. <laughs> and the last one, of course, that's the last one. So they spoil them with everything. My sister was so spoiled. <laughs> but she also talks very sweet. I never know how. <laughs> okay, love. Any other questions? By the way, because of your question, I just remember to tell other humans that we are born with some kind of allotted property or some kind of privilege or food or status in life. If we overuse it or if we use it for bad purposes, then we will be punished very hard. Oh. Yeah, even overeating, greedy eating or glutinous eating also will be punished because we overeat our lot. And the animal people also, many pet people are spoil rotten. And then before they die, they got a lot of sickness. Mm. Or even during their lifetime. Because they don't have enough uh, merit to digest all that. Mm. So it depends. it depends. If they have enough merit, it's okay. But who knows? Every owner, every caretaker loves to spoil their dog, their cat, their bird, their duck, their geese, their... Monkey person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're whatever. Even they're goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> or they're octopus. <laughs> 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 or even they're reptile and, and they're crocodile person. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> or whatever they have. Yeah? Yes. yes. Oh, just that we use everything. Enough is enough. Just mm. use mm. enough to live on. Yes, no need to want more. Because if it's not our destiny, even if we get it, we will lose it. Just like the man in the one-year king. Oh, yes. Mm, yes, yeah. yes, Master. Life is like that. Up and down, it just depends on our merit and karma in the past life. So even if we have bad karma in the past life, we still try to steer our direction into the righteous one, moral one, and God-worshipping one. Try to find enlightenment through any means possible. Then even the bad luck will also wear out at the end or sooner than if we did not try to steer our life correctly. Yes. If in a stormy sea and you have a bad boat and you are not experienced also, then again bye-bye, hey? Yes. Yes. This life is like 
sea with storms coming anytime, you never know. Mm. Yeah. So we always have to be prepared. Yes. yes. Always be vigilant and know the direction where we should be going. Then we'll be safe. All right, if you have no more questions, no comments, we call that a day. A night. A night. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, almost Tuesday. You can (laughs) make pancakes. (laughs) Today we made it early. Whenever I can, it's better that way. It's better we don't work at night, but I also don't want to work at night. Heaven told me don't, but what can I do? Mm. Everything is sent to me only in the afternoon. Mm. So, okay, from now on, if you can, then you meditate at night. Or early in the morning, you do whatever you have not done. Uh, if it's not urgent, of course, yeah? Yes, Master. But it seems like you always have urgent fly news, huh? <laughs> 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 One day I talked to your brother on the phone. I said, I'm afraid to talk now. <laughs> Because everybody's so busy. Yeah. Afterward. <laughs> yeah. Reading the script, uh, transcribing, translating, and then choosing for fly news or whatever. I say, I'm afraid to talk. And then today I talk again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I said to your brother. <laughs> I guess I'm getting old. Yeah? We are grateful that you can talk to us, Master. What, love? We are very grateful that you can talk to us. So anytime, please, don't worry. Anytime? Yes, yeah, anytime. Yeah, and then you'll be sleepless all night. <laughs> <laughs> and the next morning when I call you, you say, Word, Master, Word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> time of talk. <laughs> I can see whenever he's sleeping or not. <laughs> you have to catch up <laughs> with the late night light news or whatever show that is also extra that he has to do. His own show, yeah? <laughs> All of you have your own show. <laughs> and yeah. then if extra BMD, and then fly news then, of course. Of course you talk like that. <laughs> 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 I am even yawning for real. <laughs> when I talk about that, I'm yawning for real because I remember. <laughs> so I'm in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said to heaven, what am I to do? I know all that. I know working late is no good. Yeah. But what am I to do? Can you help me? You do my work for me then? <laughs> so from now on, if you can, then save it for the morning, early. Okay, yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. After meditation, try to eat some breakfast, even if you don't want to. Mm. Just something small. And then uh, drink a, a tea. Oh, coffee, good for you? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tea is good for you, even if you drink a little bit more. Just don't drink before you sleep, that's all. I don't care. I know, even if you drink two liters of coffee, you still sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Correct or not? Yes. yes. I know everything. <laughs> Master knows everything. Yes. Tea is good for you, even if you drink a little bit more. Just don't drink before you sleep, that's all. I don't care. I know, even if you drink two liters of coffee, you still sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Correct or not? Yes. I know everything. <laughs> Master knows everything. Yes. It happened the same here. How would I not know? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm yawning, not because of you, okay? <laughs> Just be talking about the sleepiness. Before, I never drank tea or coffee. Mm. Mm. I drink sometimes, and it's just like a fashion. <laughs> just to be in with the group, because if you are, if you are with the Chinese people, when you don't drink tea, they put thing. It's just like you on the football field and you don't play. <laughs> so I drink sometimes, but it was always bitter to me. I don't really enjoy it much, even though they say, Master, this is the first class this year. <laughs> this year, this is number one. You know, it's, it's awarded as number one. Yeah, you smell it, Master. You smell it. They have like a ceremony. Tea ceremony, you know that, right? Yes. 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 And they have different kinds of cups. One cup is for you, 
to smell it. Huh? Yeah. 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 And then one cup is for you to drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. And it's more small to try it. And, <laughs> and they do it very professionally. It's like a ceremony, you know. Yes. You have to use this kind of thing. It's not like us in the kitchen. You a big spoon throws <laughs> <laughs> the big coffee inside the cup and steal quickly and run back to the office. Not like that. <laughs> we don't have class. <laughs> uh, we don't have class. <laughs> you go into a tea shop or a Chinese house or Taiwanese house, you don't do this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, they have their own special tea pot. Yes. Mm. Some are bigger, some smaller. Smaller, like just for one person. Mm. That single tea pot, just for one person, specializing, just to enjoy this kind of high-class tea. Mm. Yes. The premium. Every year, in Taiwan, for example, they will have a competition of tea tasters. They will taste the tea and they will vote which one is the best. And I have been given one of those a couple of times, those that are the best. Wow. That is not for sale. You can't buy it. Wow. Only from disciples or from admirers or something. <laughs> <laughs> they said it to me. Wow. <laughs> And then they make all this very detailed ceremony yeah. with mm. the special equipment. Yes. yes. Not like your teaspoon or even <laughs> soup spoon that you see in your coffee in the morning like that. No. Yeah. Okay? And not such a big mug like that either. <laughs> <laughs> there are cups that are just like my wrist only. <laughs> and even smaller than that. And one you smell, they told me, Master, smell it. Smell it. I smell nothing. <laughs> I have never drunk tea. <laughs> My father loved it. He drank tea every day, all day. Mm. I never did. And sometimes I do. But I drank a lot of chai in India. Mm. Just because I'm thirsty and I was always hungry. I told you already. It's hot there. Yes. Yes. And I normally didn't have much food. They just left me a big pile of dishes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how I survived there now. I think about it. Yes. I don't know how. And I never complained. You know, I never thought much about it even. So... I never drank tea except the chai. Chai is different. Yes. yes. They have cardamom and then yes. they have tea and black tea and they put milk and sugar in it. Mm. Yes. And that's different. It's easy to drink. You drink it like a soft drink. <laughs> yes. yes. But the Chinese drink, you have to have glass. I did not have any. <laughs> so they told me, smell it, master. I did smell also. But I wonder if my smell is the same as their smell. <laughs> so they asked me, smell good, Master? I said, good. <laughs> what else would I say? <laughs> and then they told me, now you drink this. <laughs> so I drank. And they asked me, good? I said, good. <laughs> Very sensible girl. <laughs> Very polite and obedient. <laughs> but I truly did not enjoy it much. Okay, it's not like disgusting or anything. Mm. I feel like I'm wasting the tea, oh. but not oh. drinking it. <laughs> yes. yes. I thought I don't deserve it. <laughs> I thought I didn't deserve it because oh, for the tea experts, tea lovers, it would be better for them. Yes. 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 Mm. Just like for the Irish. Okay, they can eat rice. But if you give them a potato, oh, they would love it more. <laughs> <laughs> and then with a potato, it's a potato, you know, always good, good, good. Yeah. yeah, so, for example, like that. Not that they don't like rice, but they don't enjoy it as much as the Chinese people do. Right. Yes. So if Chinese people bring a kilogram of potato and exchange for a kilogram of rice from the Irish, then both of them will be very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Best of friends. <laughs> but nowadays, I drink it like an addict or something. I have to. <laughs> But even then, I sleep just the same. <laughs> Before, if I drank tea with them like that, sometimes, even if I drink it at noon, I won't sleep until the next night. Wow. Yeah, it lasts so long. I'm awake all night and very full of beans. 
<laughs> I can move mountains, you know, that the way my feet were so energetic. But nowadays, it doesn't matter how much tea I drink, I still snore all the same. <laughs> On the job, even. <laughs> I confess to you, shamefully, <laughs> what to do. But at least I could relax that much. After too much work, too much stress, your body just gives up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It doesn't stress with you anymore. It just lets you mm. do stress with yourself. <laughs> 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 your mind stresses, whatever. The body just wants to sleep. Mm. Yes. Then yes. whatever is relaxing. Mm. So in the morning, <laughs> I talk a lot. In the morning, you just take some tea. Tea is good, coffee also. They are good in different ways. Both are okay somehow. And then you just uh, eat a little bit of something, your favorite or not, <laughs> and then go work. Okay, yes, master. Master. Yes, master. And at night, try to meditate. And or sleep, depends. Yes. yes, master. If you cannot meditate anymore and you sleep, then you just sleep. What to do? Yes. <laughs> at that time, uh, you're not in control. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know all that. Don't worry. It's okay. Even if nobody does anything or people don't do anything, and if I have a chance to nourish them, take care of them, I also cannot blame them for managing. Look at how much the government waste on killing, mm. killing enemies or killing other citizens of other countries, no matter if uh, enemy or not. Yes. yes. yes and look at how much they waste on many idiot decisions. Mm -hmm. And look at how much they waste because of disaster repairing instead of just leading people to eat vegan and then we don't have disasters anymore we don't have pandemics we don't have anything then we don't have to spend trillions upon trillions upon trillions of taxpayer money for nothing mm. yes, master. yes master. for repairing all this damage and pandemic and whatever not or wasting in war trillions all the time every week before they spend maybe two uh, they say something like two billion in Iraq, for example. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yes. For the soldiers, yes. food and lodging and everything. And how many people are starving in the world, yes. even in America. Yes. And yes, all that sure. money just goes to waste. Mm -hmm. Not right. just waste, goes to harm, building one weapon more deadly than the others. Just in the mind, just to kill, yeah. to men. Yes. Yeah. To damage, to destroy people's lives and happiness and dignity and right to live in peace. Yes. So if anybody's lazy, doesn't want to work anything out there, or just goes to be a beggar because he doesn't like to work, I don't blame them either. Mm -hmm. Their harm is so minimal, they don't harm anybody. They just beg for food. Yes, yes. They just don't want to contribute because they feel it's useless. You work eight to five. And then you just pay your dues and nothing comes to you. Mm. Not much. I mean, for the average people, for the 99%, yeah. they don't see much of their labor. Yes. yes. The way they work so hard in every company or every job, they deserve more than that. That's right. true, Master. More than just worrying about mortgage, or more than just worry about their school fees, their kids' school fees, or their car insurance, or their wife's sickness. They have to worry all the time, from morning to night. Mm. And they work so hard and get nothing much at the end. Mm. I mean, compared to how they work. Yes, mm. master. They should enjoy more luxurious or more relaxing or a more abundant life. Yes, yes master. If they don't have to pay so much tax to bomb other people or to kill babies in the womb or outside the womb. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Not just in their country, but outside countries as well. By bombing, killing, uh, aborting. Oh my gosh, crazy race of humans. No wonder many masters don't want to talk too much to the public. Whoever comes to them, they teach, that's it. They don't want to even go out to talk, they feel useless. For me, I also feel useless. But I just still have to do my best. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Otherwise, I just don't want to do anything. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah, after all these decades. I'm feel like it's too fruitful, talking to the deaf, dancing with the blind, teaching the dumb. What's all this for? After you know everything already, 
what for you? You still have to go back to kindergarten. Yeah. Make the children happy. Mm-hmm. And they don't even play fair with you. They don't even listen to you. Mm-hmm. They damaging themselves and even want to harm you. Not that you go to kindergarten and the children will be happy to see you or learn with you. Yeah. Yes, Master. You have to even watch over your shoulder. Oh. Okay, my love. Any other thing? Woman, man, I always say girls and boys. Forgive me, I think you are still girls and boys, a few younger. <laughs> 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 because I feel you, you have energy, you know, young and energetic and enthusiastic, <laughs> working hard. Okay, if nothing else, then we say sayonara. Okay, buona notte, good night, bonni, good night, good night, good night, ma. Buonasera, oh, no, buona notte. Ngong ngong, okay. Say the tien. Thank you. Thank you. Remember God, you are divine. Have a good night, remember God. One is dearest to God who has no enemies among the living beings, who is non-violent to all creatures. Bhagavad Gita, Hinduism. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.